Fishbowl Thinker Television is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Peterson Toyota, Fort Collins, Colorado. Toyota Trucks, moving forward. St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Good morning. Welcome to Fishful Thinker. I'm Chad Lachance, and as always, we appreciate you joining us. We've got a beautiful foggy summertime morning, and we're chasing carp. We've got us a genuine carp expert right here, Mr. Jeff Wagner. Jeff, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks, Chad. He's a master certified fly caster. I am not a master caster, so this ought to be an interesting show. We're going to be chasing carp with fly rods. I've got my favorite seven weight out. It's going to be really interesting. It's something that anybody out there could do. What do you expect out of the day? You know, I think we should see quite a few fish. A lot of them are going to be fairly short cast, but uh, hopefully we should see some good numbers. You can see a lot of fish, a lot of shallow water, short casts, uh, but all sight fishing. Excellent. This is going to be a really fun and unique show. It's late summertime here in the eastern plains of Colorado. It should be really interesting, and uh, I say we get after it while well, we got low light. Let's do it. All right. along here and see now uh, it seems like these fish would be really spooky is that true or no they, they can be very spooky yeah I mean the biggest thing is they're in shallow water so when you think of the you know the cone of vision of a fish sure. the closer he is to the surface the less vision he's got right right um, but once these fish see the boat then they're gone right. but at times we can get pretty close yeah, yeah. there's fish back there but that did not like to be a no, carp no okay. you'll see him all right and then what's the keys going to be to getting these carp to bite. Carp are, now first of all, for folks that may not be totally familiar, carps actually, a, a lot of guys give them a bad rap, bottom feeder or yeah. whatever, but the reality of it is, is they're the smartest freshwater fish. They learn negative stimulus faster than any other freshwater fish, for one. For two, they're really big, yep. so that makes them fun to catch. Now, doing it with a fly rod, I, I like to joke about them being Rocky Mountain redfish. Right. Uh, a lot of guys like to call them bonefish, but in my experience with fishing with bonefish and redfish is carp are more like redfish than they are bonefish in terms of how they, they go about their, their daily activity. But this is strictly going to look for them first. There went one right there. One just pulled out right here. Yep, so we're sight fishing. So it's, it's really low light. So in this condition, right now, until the sun comes up, we're going to be probably right on top of them before we see them. Early in the morning like this, we get what are called cloopers. And that's when they're actually up on the surface, mouse sure. on the surface, and they're actually feeding. Um, and that's kind of what we're looking for. Right now. All right, so we have spied the enemy now. We found a carp right here. And we're gonna let Jeff make his presentation because he is the expert and I am not the expert. And guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is harder than it looks. And I say that only because I've tried it a lot. And you can see the fish there. Couple. Couple of them, yeah. So the key is being able to see one of the heads. You can see which direction yeah. he's going. And we're trying to get it, you know, just a couple of inches really in front of the fish. Now, are you watching the tip of your fly line? You know, I'm actually watching the fish. Oop, you lined that one. The ones to the right did not spook though. Oh, he turned on it for sure. Yep. There Got he is. him. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'm telling you what, boy, did you make that look easy. <laughs> Oh, he, oh, he's still on there. I thought he'd come off. No, nice no. take. Now, what fly did that thing take? He took a, a Rickard seal booger. I don't know if Denny would be happy we're using his trout flies on carp, but it's... Uh... Why not? Now, if you want me to go to the fish, no, we, we can, can do that. No, we can stay out here. I can pull Now, my... you've got... What do you got? You got a seven weight? I'm using a six weight. A six weight. Yep. Okay. And you've got a six weight with a OX or one X tip? I'm using a nine foot two X fluoro leader. Fluorocarbon, and the fluorocarbon's beat not for visibility so much as to get the fly to sink slightly. To get it to sink slightly, a little more abrasion resistant, right? Yeah. And then, uh, so. Hopefully we can get him out of these weeds. You're gonna bring in a salad here, it looks like. It looks like. Now guys, that's like his, I don't know, eighth or 10th cast. Uh, this is definitely not uh, something that I was expecting to go quite this smoothly, uh, only because my experience with carp, now you can see that, that fly rod, he is leaning on that fly rod right there, guys. That thing is bent deep 
And, uh, but this, you know, carp's a big, strong, heavy duty fish and they're not given anywhere near enough credit as a sport fish in my opinion, but sneaking up on one and throwing a fly on it like that is cool. And getting them down in the bushes like this and having to battle with them, going around here because that fly rod unloads, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> And uh, he got you down in the bushes there? Yeah. We'll release him. Let's see if he'll swim out. Yeah. You can see him right there. There, there he is. goes. Nice. And we got that big fat dog right <laughs> off the bat. Give me some nice. knuckles right awesome. there, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to see about getting a hold of him real quick because that's a big old nasty. Look at this disgusting, slimy, big old, huge, fat carp. <laughs> Jeff, that is awesome. There's your Rocky Mountain redfish, bonefish, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to put him back? Yeah, absolutely. Get All him right, back. Here we go. Here he goes, buddy. Beautiful fish. That's got to be, what, a 8 to 10 pounder yeah, probably? Yeah, they average about 8 to 12 here. That's awesome. Right off the bat. See you, buddy. The ones over there where you're talking about in the other area might be more catchable. Nice, nice, nice. I barely even saw that guy sitting there. And uh, that was a good throw. That was a real good throw right there. I'm telling you <laughs> what, that was brilliant. I love it, I love it, I love it. Jeff, you have, uh, you have done it again. Now, we've actually been sticking it out here for a little bit, guys, because the fish got kind of hard to catch. And, uh, but you've proven why you're the carp master. I don't care what anybody <laughs> right. says. You are the this carp master. a little master. bit smaller, but That's he was right. Dude, that was a good catch right there. Now, you he's know, still bulldogging you around. What's surprising about the little ones is a lot of times they actually have a little more endurance. They actually got a little more fight in them. Well, he's a pretty little sucker, and he's fighting pretty good. And the funny thing is when you're talking carp, even a little one like that is still gigantic by, say, trout standards or... Nice. nice. Perseverance Good. right there. Now, it's hot and sunny. We've been fishing for a while now. And like I said, we're going on the two hour mark and it's only the second one we've netted. We broke, we lost one. Yep. We've had two that we missed and we spooked a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah. Now, there you go. There's bugle mouth right there. You get a, <laughs> get a look at the, the business end of a carp. Now, these guys have big spikes on their fins. You have to be careful with big giant scales. Generally, when you get big scales like that. That's a sign of a fish that hasn't evolved very far. But uh, that's probably about a, I would say a four pounder yeah. or so. Yep. And uh, beautiful fish in the flyer, great catch. Yeah. That was a beautiful catch. We'll get this one put back here. And uh, this, this, there's a dorsal spine right under here that you don't want to mess with that makes these fish very, very hard to swallow, which is why no one likes to eat adult carp. But that's a cool fish. And uh, put him back. Fly fishing might be most commonly associated with trout, but there is no reason that a good fly fisherman can't get out and hone their skills in a warm water pond. St. Croix Rods produces a whole range of fly rods capable of throwing streamers, poppers, and other bugs for bass and panfish and assorted warm water fish, and it's a really, really great way to get out and experience some fly fishing, even when the rivers are running high and muddy. If you keep in mind at all times that a fly rod between maybe a four weight and up to as heavy as a seven or eight weight is a good choice for bass, maybe a two weight to a four weight would be a good choice for panfish. Either way, if you keep in mind that a fly rod is a great tool in warm water ponds just like it is for trout in the river, you'll have more fun. Nice. You hit it behind him though. Got him. Got him. That's a nice one too. Jeez, zooks, dude. This is your first day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> was, first time I've done this. Let me get my line up and out of the way. Holy smokes, he got another big one. And, you know, it's just like fighting a saltwater fish of some sort. He's just trying to maintain even pressures, using the rod to do all the work, and the reel's really just controlling slack. You're not really reeling him in. It's kind of a lift and reel down, right? Yep, so yep. just like saltwater. Now, that's a six weight, fluorocarbon leader, 2X tippet. That's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> that's good stuff, Jeff. Look at the <laughs> bend in that rod. Uh, I was going to say he's about done, but I... Look at that, dude. That rod is bent all the way to the last guide. That is awesome. 
That is awesome stuff right there. Good catch, dude. Okay, no, no, he didn't. Yeah, this is as long as my neck gets. Ah, oh, don't, don't, don't do that, Chad. Don't do that. My netting skills are well documented too. Oh, I don't want to poke him off of there. As soon as his head comes back this way, I'll get him. Okay, maybe we'll get him right there. He there he is. That's a nice. giant, big old fat good nice. stuff, That's Mr. Awesome. Wagner. Look at the size of this thing. What a pig. Fly on a there. six weight fly rod? Are you kidding me? How can you not like that? Good night, man. Look at this. That's the part I keep missing. <laughs> Look at that thing. Big spine right here, nasty, nasty, nasty. This spine right here on a carp, very, very nasty. This spine right here on a carp, very nasty, but this one right here is not to be taken lightly or the horn that's in his mouth right there. It's actually an Asian fish, big giant fins, can live just about anywhere. I never kiss the carp. I can assure you that I don't kiss carp, but that's a that's a solid 12 pounder, 10 to 12. Yeah, good fish. Nice, nice, nice. Can I put him back? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get another one. That was a great fight. I don't have my fingers inside his gills, just his gill cover, guys. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's my first green sunfish. Uh, so at least if nothing else, I can say I got the skunk out of the boat, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm a, it's a green sunfish, woo-hoo. But I'm gonna kiss that one for good luck. <laughs> He turned, didn't he? Oh, he's following you. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I don't care if you're holding the rod or watching. That was <laughs> awesome. That fish turned on the fly, cruising in open water, turned on the fly out of the blue, and came up and actually choked it. I watched him, dude. That was killer. People give carp a hard time, and I don't have any idea why you would give carp a hard time. Other than the fact that they can overpopulate, you know, or whatever. But, but you know, from a, from a conservation standpoint, here I'm swing over the top. We know that these fish are going to be here forever. Right. You know, it's the biggest fisheries mistake that the U.S. has ever made. Right. Everybody knows that, but we know they're not going anywhere. Why not use them? Right. Why not fish exactly. for them. And that might be one way to actually lower the population is to be able to. You know, more people using them as a sport fish. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and have you ever eaten one? I have not. You've never eaten one? I have you, not. You want to eat this one? <laughs> <laughs> we can fillet them up just for you. And don't boop. Nice. Oh, another big one. Oh, almost lost him out of the net. I said he was smaller than the last one. I'm not I sure that he is longer. any smaller. Another big bugle mouth, another big giant. Beautiful, cool, 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 nice cool, job. cool awesome. fish right there. That was one of the best takes I've seen in a while. That's awesome. We're gonna put him back. That's a nice one. There he goes. He's gonna go straight down. There he goes. Another great catch, man. Oh, Chad. There you go. There's two of them in there. Tension. Get a little tension. Oh, <laughs> no. Treaty. The greenie no. stole the fly from the carp. <laughs> it was right in front of that carp. The Are you kidding me? Good, good, good. He's got it. Got there he is! Yes! Oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> what? No! no. <laughs> he broke you? He broke. He broke it. There you got go. Him, got him, got nice. him. Nice. Got him. There we go. There's what we That's need. what I'm talking about. Holy smokes, this is gonna get ugly in a second, guys. When he figures out he's hooked, it's gonna get ugly. Okay, where'd he go? Nice. You got Bulldog him. and carp. That's awesome. Nice, nice. Thank you, Mr. Wagner, for your most okay now so what? So how do you how do we deal with this <laughs> yeah this isn't something i've ever really tried with a fly rod before but that fish is like all wrapped in these bushes we need uh spider wire and... yeah exactly if i had my 50 pound braid i'd be more equipped to deal with this now you... this is affectionately known as a cluster so if you lift up 
Yep, I'm trying to get it out from underneath that one limb. We're gonna go to the fish and I'll let you net him. Oh, oh, God, dang it, dang it, dang it. I need a hug. <laughs> This is where I like hitting them, is when they start seeing them like this in the waves. Perfect. He's on. Oh, he ate oh. it. He ate it. I, he, was, he must not have ate it. He was after that. There he goes. Leave it, leave it. Did he get it? I don't know. Lift. Got yep. him. There. Got him. Got him. All right. OK, baby. Stay on there now. Okay, now this one surely is gonna stay pinned, right? Please. Okay. Come on, fish. There you go. Whoop, get him out of there. Clear your line. This is more like saltwater fishing than. Oh no! No, he's still on. He's still on. No, he's not. He came off. I'm in the bushes now. What? Should eat. Got him. There you go. Got him. Nice. nice. Rod tip high. I wasn't sure about that. Lean man. up on him. Come on, get the net. Here he comes quick. Here he's coming quick. He's right here. Get the net. Oh. Come on, fish. There oh. we go. Finally, he I got, got him. him. Nice. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I got one. All right, here we go. So I got one. Let me see if I can gracefully get him up and out of the net. Get that line off him if you would, yep, Jeff. That's awesome. Good fish. Finally got one in the boat. So I guess you're up for one more after I broke off repeatedly and lost a couple. We'll let you get another one now. But guys, we seem to have them figured out. It's you got to lean on them. I mean, you saw I lean on that fish as much as I could dare lean on one with a seven weight St. Croix. I did it with a 2X and we finally got one for me as well. So I'm going to let him put on another lesson or two, get this one put back, but uh, that's worth working for. I'll tell you what, guys, it's worth working for that. Here we go. Look at that's a nice one. Too. It is. It's a good fish. I lean on that fish. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Those are the hard casts to me. Oh, nice, you got him. Nice, nice. Another hookup in the bushes. Oh, that burns. Oh, oh, that is awesome. Dude, I don't ever want to hear someone complain about fly line burning them. I'm getting you closer. Oh, look at him go out there too. Nice. Yeah, six yeah, so weight. much for keeping his head above it. Yeah. <laughs> now I want I want the crowd to duly note. He's like, well, just get your rod tip high and lean on him. <laughs> As this one's ripping him through the bushes at full speed. Yeah, oh, this how, one's not gonna get landed. How either. cool is this? He might get landed. Hang on, you stay tight on him. Oh, dude, you're in trouble. He's way over there, man. Can I pull this out of here? Break that stock. There you go. Break this stock. There you got him. You're a little better. Where's your fish, man? I don't know. Come on, trying to get that stock off of there. Come on now. <laughs> so have you ever had to do this? Before? No, this is a, this is a virgin territory for me. Come on now. If I can break that stock with the net. There you go. You keep leaning on him. This will make your argument. Here he is. I see him right here in front of the boat. Uh, oh, he doesn't like you. I don't think he likes you, Jeff. I don't know what you ever did to him, but he doesn't like you. Oh, are you kidding me? OK, he's right here. Oh, if, he, if he'll show himself, I'll net him right here. OK. Oh, he's going to swim out for you. Maybe. Okay. No, no good. Oh, dude. Anyone that doesn't like this kind of combat fishing needs their pulse check. Sorry. 
That's uh, this is my first day with a net. <laughs> my net skills are well documented. So you're good, you're good, I'm coming around. Lift his head, oh my goodness, dude, he's big. He's big and heavy with a mouthful of trash. I can't <laughs> believe you just caught that thing. That's yeah. a big one too. Nice. Oh man, <laughs> look at the horse. Are you kidding me? Guys, I have got, I have got an absolute fishing lesson today. Jeff Wagner, <laughs> right here guys. This guy has got this sport figured out. We're in the bushes, it's the last day of July, mm -hmm. it's hot. If that's not a sport fish, I don't know what is a sport fish. I've been broke off, I've been refused, I've made bad casts, I'm shaking like a leaf and I didn't even <laughs> catch that thing. Jeff, I wanna thank you very you much for being a guest on Fishful Tinker. It's been an absolute blast, even though I have got schooled today and I love it. You know, I caught a green sunfish, that's important. But, uh, but seriously, it's been a great time. It's beautiful fish, it's a great sport. It's a great thing to do with a bass boat. You know, this would be a terrible time to be catching bass, but perfect for these bruisers. And uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed Fishful Tinker this week. Jeff, we appreciate you being on the show. Thanks for having me. Will you come it. on in the future? Absolutely. Ex awesome. Excellent, we'll get another lesson then. So. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed fly fishing for carp today. It's an absolute blast. Get out, take your fly tackle, get after it. He just horsed that fish with a six weight. So good stuff right there. As always, we appreciate you watching Fishful Thinker and we'll see you next week. Oh, is that you I caught? No. Come off of there. Golly. Yeah, right? This is what I get for trying to reel in in a hurry to help him with the fish. Funny thing, guys, I didn't even do this casting. <laughs> I just did it reeling in. So I'm back in business now with a fly with an actual hook on it. Flies with hooks catch more fish than flies without. Hang on, look at that. Nice. That's why you wear a hat and sunglasses.